Hey everyone, I hope that you guys are having a good evening and you are safe and warm wherever it is that you are in the world. Um, if we have not met, my name is Rachel. I'm just going to start with a quick scent tent. So basically all that is is a drop of oil in your hands, rubbing it together to get kind of the energies flowing and just have a big deep breath. So I've done lots of classes and lots of talks, but I still get a little bit nervous and I always like to ground myself. So grab an oil if you're watching and just ground yourself too before we get started, okay? Take a few big breaths. Say where you guys are from if you're watching. Hello, hello. Okay, so I didn't do thieves. I did not scent tent with thieves. I used frankincense, but we are chatting thieves tonight and the power of thieves. So if you have no idea what that is, Thieves is a special, special blend. So it was created based on a story in the 15th century when there was people kind of grave robbing um, and they weren't getting sick and they wanted to know why. And it was because of the blend of herbs and spices and things that they were carrying around to just support their bodies, okay? So Young Living took this legend and they created the Thieves Blend. So that's what this special oil is and that's what this chat is gonna be about. So you probably heard of Thieves if you've heard of Young Living. If you guys use it, I would love to hear what you use it for. It has a really kind of a cinnamon, cinnamony Christmas scent. The reason why I didn't tent with it, I tented with um, frankincense, is because it has some oils in it that can make the skin kind of warm. Um, and I wouldn't want to put those in my hands and breathe them indirectly. But this is a very powerful oil to diffuse in your home. So you can diffuse it when you feel a cough and cold coming on. It is one of Canada's approved natural health products for coughs and colds. So we diffuse it often, but you can do it when you feel something coming on or a really big thing to do is prevention. So oils are fantastic to support our bodies. They're fantastic to use them when we need them, but you can also use them before you need them. So to support your body to use as more of a prevention um, method. And I find that super powerful. So diffusing is really great. You can also put a roller on it like I did and I roll it on the bottoms of my feet. I even rolled it along my spine today and that does get a touch warm. So making sure that you're diluting it with something like a fatty carrier oil, like a vegetable oil, a coconut oil, something like that, um, so that it's safe. So prevention is huge. Why do we have to wait till we feel unwell before we start using something to support our bodies, right? And it's sometimes interesting that the, the thing that we, um, like we're trying to prevent is a feeling, right? It's a physical symptom. We don't want to feel like we have a cough or cold. We don't want to feel run down. So when that starts to happen, we're like, shoot, we better get our thieves. We better start, you know, supporting our bodies instead of doing it every day. So that is just a habit and a routine that you can create and use those things every day. But I do want to mention how important it is the products that we're using in our home. So most of us probably grew up, our moms or our grandmas or somebody that we knew used things like, you know, Comet cleaners or the, um, I remember my mom used to clean windows with ammonia and we used to have to leave the house. There's lots of bleach. There was, you know, 20 containers underneath the kitchen sink and you knew to not go in there because they were dangerous and, and you didn't want to get involved, right? Your mom or your grandma said, stay out of there, don't go in there, because they're not good for us. And the funny thing is, is, you know, we just get so, or did do, get accustomed to using those things, but they're in our homes. So they're things that, you know, we're in our homes a lot more often nowadays, especially. So the air quality in our home is something to really be mindful of. If we're using things like scented, you know, candles or plugins, or we're using cleaners that have harmful ingredients and synthetic fragrances and chemicals, it's really going to be hard to not get that into our bodies. So if you've ever heard of something called bioaccumulation, that just means that something that you use every single day, like a little bit, it's just gonna build up in your body. And that's just the way it works, right? Over time, you use something, let's say it's um, one candle every day, and you use it, and you use it, or um, a window cleaner that you use every week, and every week you use it, every week you use it. Your body will eventually begin to accumulate, you know, those harmful chemicals, they might begin to burn in your body, so that's what bioaccumulation is. And it just makes your body work harder than it has to, right? Our bodies are so smart, they're powerful, they want us to 
you know, they want to kickstart our immune system. They want us to feel good and to support ourselves, but it makes it hard when we're using things that, that kind of burden us. So, um, one of the biggest things for me, my boyfriend actually told me this a few years ago is before I started using any Young Living products, he goes, you know, those dryer sheets are really bad for you. And I was like, what, <laughs> what? And I looked into them and they're horrible for us. So that is one of the most common things that you can ditch in your um, home is dryer sheets. So they're bad for us, they're bad for the environment um, and they're really, they, they burn in our bodies big time. So if you think about laundry, I'll talk about laundry soap first. So because Thieves is so powerful and we know how great it is for our bodies, keeping us above the wellness line, uh, Young Living was smart and they made it into an entire line for us. So it takes the guesswork out of it. So we're not having to take this oil, you know, try create our own things. Everything comes pre-made for us. You can, you can totally um, DIY a lot of stuff, but... I love that everything comes pre-made. So laundry is a huge one. So the dryer sheets, ditch them. If you really need scent, uh, wool dryer balls are a really great option. And the, the laundry soap that you use is super important too. So if you think about, you take a shower, um, maybe use a face cloth to, to clean your face. Then you use a towel to dry. Then you use a towel to dry your hair and your body. Then you sleep in your sheets. Then you apply your clothes and you wear your clothes all day. And whatever product we're using, whatever fragrance and whatever, um, you know, laundry soap that we're using is going to sit on our body every day. And yes, it might not be a big amount that, you know, is absorbing into our skin. But every day that we do that, it's a lot, you know, a lot to for our body to accumulate. So let's say you sleep in your bed every night, I would hope. So <laughs> every night your body is kind of soaking in that. And our skin is our largest organ. So if we're... Um, you know, sleeping in our bed every night, showering, uh, drying our hair, drying our hands with a hand towel, washing our dishes, and we've washed all those things with something that's harmful for our body, it's just going to make our body be working that much harder, right? We want to support it, not make it work harder. So laundry soap is a huge um, benefit to swap out. So ditch and switch, super easy. This one has thieves in it, of course. It is a very, very concentrated bottle. You only need about a quarter of a cap which is about this much, for an entire load. So I do it for my laundry, I do it for my boyfriend's laundry, absolutely everything we do. We've never had any, um, you know, something that doesn't come clean. If it needs a little bit extra kind of scent stuff to get rid of, like if um, we've got, you know, campfire clothing, you can add an oil to it to try get that out. But it is really important to be mindful of what um, we're using on our um, clothing and detergent, right? And I noticed this, so I haven't traveled in quite some time, obviously, but when I did travel and rented Airbnbs, the biggest thing that bugged me was the scent of the sheets and the towels. And when I got home, I washed my laundry, like the clothing that I had and, and my pajamas, and I had to wash it multiple times to get that scent out. That scent just still stuck in there. And it kind of made me feel ill, like what, what am I putting on my body, right? And it just sits there, so. Laundry soap, super easy. I know that you can dilute it. If anybody dilutes it, I would love to hear your recipes. I'm pretty lazy and simple. I like to use it as is, and you only use a quarter of a, a cup or a quarter of a thing. So it's supposed to do 64 loads, and I know so many people that dilute it and stretch it into about three. So you will know if you've ever had any kind of allergies or skin issues. One of the first things that will happen when you go to like a doctor or dermatologist is they'll say any new creams, any new detergents, any new soaps, because those are things that are sitting and soaking on our bodies. So if we're using something, um, you know, that can be irritating that sometimes shows in a physical symptom like a rash. So laundry soap is a must. My favorite, favorite one is by far the cleaner. So, the cleaner is like a magician <laughs> if you've not tried it um if you've not tried it i want you to hashtag try yeah sure try and whoever invited you we will send you a sample or i will because everybody needs to try this it is so concentrated you only need this much which is a small little capsule and you put it in a body or sorry in a bottle like this so i think this i'm really bad with measurements but i want to say this is a 16 ohms bottle Maybe you can buy amber bottles online too. This was a promotion um, quite a few years ago, but all that it needs is this 
into this. So it literally lasts forever. And like I said, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't make different mixes and concoctions. I use this for everything. I use it to clean sunglasses. I use it to clean windows. I use it to clean counters. And I use it to spray my plants with to, you know, get the dust off and help them photosynthesize. Plants helping plants. If it's safe for our plants, it's safe for us, which is really cool. And it just doesn't have any of that harmful stuff. So a lot of people say they might get headaches when you're smelling synthetics or, um, you know, your hands might break out in rashes or things like that. And I have not had any experiences from that. Um, lots of people love this cleaner because of its versatility. So instead of having, like I talked about at the beginning, you know, those 15 different bottles, you've got a toilet cleaner, you've got a you know, um, windows, you've got something for your um, stove, a scrub, you've got a vehicle cleaner. This is all I use. That's it, all I use. And you can make it into, actually there is one DIY that I do with it. You can make it into a soft scrub. So if anyone's done that, I'd love for you to share the recipe. Basically it is these cleaner, uh, baking soda, lemon oil, and I think sometimes vinegar. And it is so easy and so beautiful. And when I say scrub, like just a gentle little scrub. So it works perfect on things that are a little tougher surface. So like the tub or the stove top, um, what else do I use on the inside of the sink just to get kind of all that um, extra little grime off. It's a beautiful, beautiful product that I think everyone should have. If you want someone to be a believer in oils and natural products, just let them try the Thieves Cleaner. So I think it works out too about a dollar per bottle when you mix it up so you will also be saving money too i hear a lot of times people say that you know they're scared to try natural products because you know the huge cost but when you think about your replacing i think this is maybe 28 dollars. i could totally be it's around that that ballpark um and it costs about a buck to make a bottle and it lasts months. Like for us, it lasts at least six months. So you're swapping out instead of having multiple things, you're having one thing and it can truly do it all. So you can mix up, um, you could add vinegar if you want for uh, windows. I don't, like I said, I'm pretty lazy and I just use everything as is. Mop buckets, floors, sinks, counters, walls, like I do it all. And the nice thing is you don't have to worry about the safety. So. Think about, you know, you spray your counter, you clean it, and then you prepare your food on it. Well, you're gonna eat that. Or, you know, you've got a, a pet or a baby and they walk and they put their hands or their paws on the floor, then you're gonna be, they're gonna be kind of absorbing that, right? Or us, like I walk barefoot all the time, so my body is absorbing that. And like I said, over time, it's just gonna burden it. So if we can have a simple swap that's easy and safe, why not, right? Okay, those two are my favorite for sure, and the oil. And then I wanna mention dish soap for sure because this is one that I've actually started to love more and more. And today I used it for shampoo. So if you guys saw in the post previously, I've used it for dish soap. It will not suds the way that other dish soaps do traditionally because it does not have um, sulfates in it that make it bubble. So you will get used to it and same with toothpaste and you'll be like, oh, why did I even need it to bubble, right? You'll, you'll just get used to it. I know you can add baking soda if you want to um, make it bubble a little bit more, but I, again, I'm quite a lazy DIYer. I just use it as is. So dish soap works amazing. You can also use it. I'm not sure if you can see the consistency kind of. Also use it as toilet bowl cleaner and it works friggin fantastic because it's about the same consistency. And if you look up, so great websites to look up um, ingredients and um, you know how they can be either good or bad for our body. Environmental Working Group is a really good one, EWG. Think Dirty is okay. Um, EWG is really fantastic. You can put in specific ingredients and they have a lot of Young Living stuff now. Um, so this doesn't have any of like the SLS, dyes, colorants, formaldehyde. Like why would formaldehyde be in our dish soap? We're going to eat off that stuff. Uh, perfumes, synthetics. Like why would that be on something that we're going to eat? That's frightening, right? So dish soap works super well. Toilet bowl cleaner. And today I used it as a shampoo. So I've seen a lot of people online using it as a clarifying shampoo. And I actually love it. I might start using it as my daily shampoo. Um, I find it just makes things kind of lighter. It takes off any kind of, um, you know, buildup that there was. I've been using Young Living shampoo and conditioner for years, but it, it's really lovely. I think I might start using this as the shampoo and then stick to the vanilla mint conditioner. It works 
fantastic. So if you guys haven't tried it yet, please try it as shampoo. It actually works amazing. I was really blown away. But that's just the really cool thing about Young Living products is they're versatile, they're really cost effective, so you can use them in multiple different ways and stretch them. And if it's safe for us to eat off of it, I think it's safe for my hair, right? And if it's not safe for me, uh, for my hair, or not safe for me to eat off, like, think about, you know, what we're using, right? Another really simple swap that's easy is toothpaste. So toothpaste, it goes in your mouth. We're gonna be absorbing some of that in our mouth. We wanna make sure that what we're using, especially as kiddos, right? They're probably gonna unknowingly swallow some of it. Not that they're supposed to, but. Um, so using a, a simple swap like a natural toothpaste. So Thieves is really powerful. Again, we know it's great for coughs and colds. Um, it's a natural health product with Young Living. So it's really great for prevention again. So I just got my dental work last week. I have no cavities, so that's a really great thing, or no more cavities, I have some from years ago. Again, simple swap, we've got multiple different toothpastes, but it's just so easy, like it's a simple switch, a ditch and switch, something that we already know how to use. So if someone comes to me and they you know, are unsure, how do I use oils, I'm not sure, what, what am I gonna do, I'm not really sure how to, how to use them, suggest Thieves products. Like we all know how to use toothpaste, we all know how to use dish soap, we all know how to use laundry soap and a cleaner. And that's just a really great way to swap out and make a huge impact in the home. So what we're using in the home. If you look up um, air quality in the home or chemicals in the home, you'll be blown away at what is actually in our own, you know, our own living space that we're in. And now that we're in our homes more often, um, it's something that we should really be aware of and making sure we're telling other people is, we can we can have safe things in our home we can have these things and not spend all our money and just make those simple swaps so toothpaste great another one is hand soap hand soap how many times a day do you wash your hands i even put this in a little uh, travel pump and i take it with me because it's so great and i don't want to use the other junk if i don't have to so you can also stretch this one this is one that i do stretch not really a diy but it's an easy stretch is diluting it um, and putting some in like a mason jar or putting it in a separate container and refilling with partial water so i usually do about half and half because it foams up really well and you can also buy the refills so things like uh, the thieves cleaner comes in a larger bottle so again you're saving more plastic um, it's going to be cheaper for you save money better for the environment and you can buy the refill of the hand soap too so if you get let's say a pack of three of these don't throw them out just refill them buy a um buy the bigger bottle to save money less plastic better for us better for the environment and then refill these guys so we have one around all of our sinks and when we go away in the summer and go to the cabin they come with us when i travel they come with us and i like to um, put them in the little travel size pumps like i said okay so those are probably the most common thieves products and they're things that we already use right <laughs> our uh, laundry soap cleaner dish soap um, toothpaste and hand soap we all know how to use those things so they're very very simple swaps to have in your home and to really make a big impact the oil you might not know how to use at first but it is an easy one to diffuse or like I said rub on the bottoms of your feet every night if you do not have oils yet I suggest that you get a thieves starter bundle and that's just because it'll come with the diffuser so you can start diffusing your thieves right away and it kind of has just that head-to-toe um, thieves products for the entire house if you already have oils or already have a diffuser, there's a Thieves Essential Rewards collection that's really fabulous. Maybe some of you guys can post a picture or um, the cost and share about that. And that is fantastic because it gives you everything except the diffuser. So if you already have that, no problem, but make sure you have one because our air quality is very important. <laughs> um, and then you can make those. So a lot of people get started with an oil starter bundle and then Thieves is just the next step. But if you really have someone who's just, you know, I'm not sure how I'm gonna use the oils or if I'll use them, Thieves. Everyone loves it, it's so easy to swap out and it makes such an impact for our lives, okay? I will briefly mention another one. It's not in either of those bundles, but it is an amazing one that everyone loves, is the Thieves Fruit and Veggie Soap. So this soak is something that's gonna clean our produce, our fruits and vegetables, making sure we don't have any of that gunk. Um, even if you're buying organic, there's gonna be some stuff on it that you know we just don't want, or people touching it, or you know cleaning something before it comes in your home is important, especially now. So this, but this guy goes a long, long way. And I actually used it recently. I saw in a plant group for watering your plants. So I just put a little cap full, 
and I put it in a bucket of water and then I watered my plants because apparently it's supposed to be good for that. So I am blown away that when I hear about all the uses of the Thieves products and all of our oils, but just how amazing they can be for plants, they can be for our bodies and our homes and just support us in so many ways. So plants helping plants is an amazing thing. Okay. That was short and brief. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll go through comments if you have any questions. I wanna share about tomorrow um, and the rest of the week we have some amazing classes. So we have Sherry up tomorrow for supplements. If you want to learn about what the difference is with Young Living supplements, why they're so important for our bodies, you can hashtag supplements and we'll get you in there. Thursday, yeah, Thursday is uh, Claudia with oils in the bedroom. You can hashtag frisky and learn about how to use those to support you um, whether you're you know with a partner if you're not how you can use them in kind of a more um, romantic bedroom way. Friday we're going to learn from Jamie about gua sha. So if you don't know what that is that is one of those um, I don't know not rollers like it's not a jade roller but I should have grabbed mine <laughs> and it's for like stimulating flow and um, wrinkles and all those kinds of things. So you can hashtag gua sha and you'll get added to that. And then Saturday we have a very special group of ladies. We have three ladies still on kind of the beginning steps of their journey with Young Living and they're going to share about how you can work from home and make a, um, an income with Young Living. So you can hashtag job if you want to be in for that. And I will pick a winner for someone that commented and I'll go through all your comments after. If you have questions at all, please reach out to the person that invited you or myself. We are always happy to ask questions and I hope that you guys get thieves into your home so you can start feeling better and get lots of prevention in before you need it. So investing in your health is a huge thing that I have been doing for the past four years and my amount of sick time in my sick bank and not, not becoming ill is, is evident at how well these oils and products do when they're working for our bodies to prevent. So. Hope that was helpful guys. Have a lovely evening.